how to use artificial intelligence to generate your own unique and captivating images. Well, in this video, you guys are going to find out. I'm Ben and welcome to Motivation to Invest. In this video, I'm gonna to reveal to you guys a platform called Mid Journey and show you guys exactly how to use it, how to get started and how to upload your own images so you can create AI versions of your own face because who doesn't like their own face? So if that being said, Let's dive in. So firstly, what is Midjourney? Now Midjourney is an independent research lab which is exploring new mediums of thought and expanding the imaginative powers of the human species. Well, that's where it says according to its website, but really it's just a company which has this open source AI tool and it basically allows you to convert text into an image. So you can write any text you want, a beautiful green forest with giraffes inside and it will create that image we'll try that later this is similar to OpenAI's DALI and also stable diffusion so there are quite a few of these platforms at the moment which are used to generate AI images now to get started really simple so head over to midjourney.com and you'll be presented with this website here and this is still in the beta program and um, I believe since July 2022 so it's still fairly new you simply click sign in you, know, you join and you click sign in and basically this will take you to a discord group and then in there I'll show you exactly what to do. Firstly, before we dive into that, I believe it's fantastic to check out the community showcase. So this is what people have actually so far developed inside the platform. So someone's wrote lovely lips dripping extremely realistic 4K photography in this beautiful images being created we also have this woman in the wheelchair a rabbit having a bath what i was astounded by is the creativity of people like people are just so creative it's unbelievable like i like to think of this as let's say you were back in school and you might have been creative you might have had all these ideas and it was very interesting but let's say you're really bad at drawing and you just weren't very good for example myself i'm, I'm not great at drawing but with a platform like this it allowed you to channel your creativity to create whatever images you desire. So let's dive in to the Discord group. So once you've joined, you'll be on the free trial. You'll get around 20 credits, which you can use to generate AI images. After the pricing is also fairly reasonable if you plan on using this in a business context, let's say instead of hiring graphic designers. So once you're inside the Discord group, simply scroll down and you'll be presented with what are called the newbie um, groups. So you simply click into one of those newbie rooms here. So I'm in one at the moment. To communicate with the artificial intelligence model, we use this prompt. We do forward slash imagine, and then you basically write whatever you want. So we say forward slash imagine, and then we say juicy red lips in 4K dripping. Now it does take a couple of minutes because there's a lot of people on this room right now. It's become very popular. The servers are overloaded and obviously this is the free version. So there you go, guys. There are big red lips which are dripping. And then what we can do is, let's say this is for an advertisement or it could just be for a poster or anything else. We can then click on one to upscale it. That means make it larger. Or we can click on one of the versions and make different variations of that. So if we clicked, for example, V2, or actually, no, that's not very good. I like V3 here. Then what that would do is create four variations of this and we can keep iterating to get the ideal cartoon image that we like. Just let your imagination run wild. So in terms of creativity, guys, here's one. A clown crying sitting at a bus stop in South America. Now, I don't know where people come up with this stuff, but it's actually quite an interesting image. I don't know what it's supposed to represent, but if that's not art, I don't know what is. You can also create images of celebrities and you can add emotions to those images. So here we've got Cristiano Ronaldo 8K 3D laughing while running on the field. And we can see it's pretty much covered that. It doesn't look exactly like Cristiano Ronaldo, the obviously famous footballer, but you can see the resemblance and people get the ideas. So I'm sure you guys are sitting there now and you're thinking, okay, Ben, I get it. It seems pretty simple to create your own text to AI images. But how can you upload your own image of your own face? Because that's what people care about. And you want to create an AI version of that. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So firstly, what you do on Discord is you click the plus button here and you click add a server. And what you need to do is create your own server. So simply click add a server. 
type in, call it whatever you want. Once you've created your own server, very, very simple guys. So I've called this server, my image server. So I've got an image here of my face and you simply drag the image into Discord here, click on the image, right click, you copy the link, you go back to mid journey. So here we go guys, you use the prompt again, forward slash imagine, and then you simply paste that link of the image which you previously uploaded to your own server. Very, very easy. Then you add whatever descriptions you want. So you can say, so I want an image of myself, which I've got there in metaverse style. I'm gonna say blue, purple, and I'm also gonna say futuristic. And then let's see what the AI comes up with. So I've just done this a few times, guys. Here are a few images, and I'll walk you through um, the best and worst of my own face. So <laughs> basically, the first one it came up with was this which I personally do, don't think looks like me at all, but I, I do like the style of the images and it is quite interesting. So that was the first attempt by the AI. And after a few iterations, so I did the variation, I clicked the variation button, upscaled, upscaled, and then it gave me this photo here, which I thought was actually really flattering. I don't think it looks particularly like me exactly, but I do think it's very flattering and people will use flattering images of themselves for social media, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So that was my final, final image. And if I was going to be, let's say a video game player or an avatar inside a video game or inside the metaverse and someone offered me that avatar, I would say, okay, that's, that's a pretty cool avatar. And I'd happily take that all day long. So this one is in cyberpunk style. So I uploaded an image of myself um, when I was on top of this rooftop, no top on, I'd just been in the gym working out, looking very cool. And uh, I asked them to give me that image in a cyberpunk style. And here's what they come up with. Again, I don't think it looks exactly like me. I don't I don't think it looks remotely like me, but I do see the similar features and as captured the essence of the photo, which was I was on a rooftop over a city, sunglasses on in pretty good shape. That's what the image has captured. And again, pretty flattering photo. I'd happily use that as an avatar inside a metaverse game. So highly recommend you guys test out your own um, services and yeah go from there let me know what you come up with and if you found this video valuable give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't joined the family yet feel free to subscribe by hitting that subscribe button and turning that notification bell on with that being said i hope you guys have a tremendous day and i'll see you guys in our next video keep growing